Hello everybody, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing questions 32 through 36 for the 2022 Grade 4 Mathematics Day exam for New York State. So let's get straight into it. For question 32, it says, Matt has four pens. Sue has four times as many pens as Matt. Chris has two times as many pens as Sue. Which equation can be used to determine the number of pens Chris has? So Matt has four pens, and Sue has four times as many pens as Matt. So this shows the number that Sue has. But Chris has two times as many pens as Sue. So this whole thing represents Chris. And that corresponds with choice C. Remember, you don't need to put the parentheses in this up in this equation. I mean, expression, because there's only multiplication. If an expression has only multiplication or only addition, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether or not you use the parentheses, because the answer will still be the same. So let's move on to the next problem. For question 33, it says, Lynn measured the height of a plant on Monday and again on Friday. The diagram below shows the plant's height in inches on the next day. How much did the plant grow in inches between Monday and Friday? So on Monday, we see that the plant, we see that the plant grew to was two inches tall on friday we see that the plant is three inches tall and you can tell because if you take this and you extend it you see two inches if you take this you extend it you see three inches three minus two equals one so in the span of time between monday and friday the plant grew one inch Make sure to check your units as well. For this one, it stayed the same, but sometimes you need to convert. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 34, it says Sam has 12 baseball cards. Allie has four times as many baseball cards as Sam. Which equation can be used to find the total number of baseball cards Allie has? So if Sam has 12 baseball cards and Allie has four times as many as Sam, this equation, 12 times 4, shows the number that Allie has, and 12 times 4 equals 48. So, the equation is 12 times 4 equals 48, and that represents the number of baseball cards that Allie has, and that is answer choice D. Moving on to the next problem. For question 35, it says, what is the value of of the expression shown below. So for this, it shows nine and four tenths minus two and eight tenths. Here you can change nine and four tenths to a fraction that's equal to it. You can make it to eight and 14 tenths because 14 out of 10, that's equal to one and one fourth plus eight, I mean eight, that's equal to 9 and 1 fourth. So 8 and 14 tenths minus 2 and 8 tenths. Now subtract the whole numbers. 8 minus 2, that's equal to 6. 14 minus 8, that's equal to 6. And then you keep the denominator the same since the denominator is the same for both mixed fractions. And you get 6 and 6 tenths, which gives you um, B. By the way, if you don't see your answer within the answer choices, simplify your fraction. And if it's still not there, you did something wrong. And make sure to simplify your fractions for the short answer problems, unless it says not to. Moving on to the next problem. Number 36 says, Kem has 35 tickets to use at an amusing park. He wants to use as many of the tickets on rides as he can. Each ride requires four tickets. How many tickets 
will Cam have left over going on as many rides as he can? So, if he has 35 tickets to use in an amusing park, and he wants to use as many as them as he can on the rides, and each ride requires four tickets, you have to do 35 divided by four, because 35 represents the number of tickets, four represents the number of tickets for each ride, and the answer will, record, will be the number of rides, remainder, blank. 35 divided by 4, that's equal to 8, remainder 3. He will have 3 tickets left over, because if he goes on 8 rides, that uses up 32 tickets, but he'll still have 3 left over. So, A is the correct answer for question 36. Okay guys, that was all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you found my content useful and I will be continuing to make more content based around alien math and try to educate you guys. That's all for today. Bye.